Oh, God. Next up is Kiss Kiss. Would you look at that thing? It's... You know, there are... There are much higher quality polygonal models of people online if you really want to make a game with one. It was, that was really the best they could make. So, like I said before, the kind of, of bad that you find on Xplig just dwarfs any kind of bad you may have seen anywhere else. And I guess that's one reason people like to come back to Xplig. Because it is unique in that way. Okay, so we're coming on to this girl to, at a Christmas party, and she wants to give us trivia questions. Because, okay, yeah, it's a trivia game. Were you expecting that? Probably not. What does CD, as in music CD, stand for? I wonder what it means. Look at that animation. I mean, I, I don't know. The, the hair looks like snakes. It looks like she has butter all over her face. It's very shiny. I don't know why they would... Why would they want to use this model for this game? Which animal is the largest of our planet? Blue whale. I also don't really get the whole trivia game with with girl dating simulator? I, I don't know. Why, why is this a trivia game? What was the capital city of Greece? Athens. I'm... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't do that. You can stop doing that now. I, I guess they just wanted a, a reason to make a game with, with this girl. And trivia game was the easiest thing they could think of. How many stars are there on the flag of the United States? Alright. How many known moons does Pluto have? <laughs> That's quite a jump. How many stars are there on the American flag to how many moons are there around Pluto? I don't remember this off the top of my head. I'll say four. Oh, that's the end of the demo. We couldn't, uh, you know, they couldn't give us too much. They couldn't uh, get let the girl get too close to us, otherwise we have had no reason to buy the full game. Oh, and look, there's a, a 3D stereoscopic version. So, if you want to see that that uh, that nightmarish horror shambling towards you in full 3D, they've got you covered. You can do that. Just got a pair of red blue glasses, and. Uh, and it'll be like she's coming out of the TV. That could make the good, a good premise for a horror game. Yeah, so the game's called Kiss Kiss. You know, obviously supposed to be a little easy cash grab on Xblig because that's the type of game that sells on this service. You know, the, you don't make real games for this service. This is the game you make, you'll make a little bit of money, and then you go on to make the next fast, easy thing that's going to make you a little bit of money. That's how it works. Which is why I don't get why some people actually make real games for this thing. But if you want to try out Kiss Kiss for yourself, and I don't think anyone does, it's available now. It's Kiss Kiss. Next up is Defy Gravity Extended. It's a side-scroller with dual-joystick shooter elements to it. Sure. Basically, the premise of this game is we have a, a gravity gun. can create gravity wells. And we're in space. A little bit of a double jump. Alright, so here's the main thing. We can create gravity wells that can pull or... Uh, repel. Alright, that gravity well is going to pull me up so I can make that jump. Which I wouldn't have been able to make otherwise. Alright. Now I can make one, uh, oh, gravity well that attracts. Actually, no, I'm sorry, this one repels. I'm going to repel myself off of that. Uh, 
could put up a shield to protect myself from danger. The game controls all right. I think it's interesting. Um, an interesting uh, idea. Jump on these enemies. Whoop, whoop, oh. Didn't get enough height. The graphics could be, you know, they could be polished. It's nothing special here. But that's all right. I mean, what do you really expect from uh, from X Blaga? Wrong, wrong well. Let's get rid of my wells there. All right. Oh. So it wants me to create a gravity well to right there. Yeah. So it's basically using gravity to get across the level to the exit door. Nice music. I think the presentation's overall not bad. I found myself losing control at some points, but I guess that's just how the game mechanics work. Ah. One hit kills, as you can see. I guess the controls can't be too bad if I'm able to, to do this little jumping thing right here. It seems like this would require some precision controls. All right. All right, we're going to use gravity wells to move this platform around. So yeah, I think this it's a pretty interesting style of... Whoop, should pay more attention. I think that, yeah, that, the way this game works is pretty interesting. I mean, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm using the gravity wells to, uh, the attracting, the attracting gravity well to, to move the platform around, which is attracted by that. I can use my repel gravity well to move enemies around. It seems to be that if uh, something is gold, like those enemies or the platform I was using, ah, they can be affected by my gravity. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Whoop. It can affect their movement with gravity. Hmm. How to get through that. Oh, that, no, that just pulled me into the line. All right, I think that's going to be enough of Defy Gravity Extended. Not too much to say about it, really. Um, it's an interesting game. I like it. It Controls could be a little bit better than they are, I think. A little bit more tighter and responsive. But the, uh, the whole idea of the gravity-based gameplay, I think that there is something there, and that does have the potential to be a pretty good game. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, worth taking a look at, I think. Defy Gravity Extended. Welcome to Who's the Daddy 2! Today on Who's the Daddy, we have the lovely Lisa. Her father's a bazillionaire and strongly believes in abstinence before marriage. In fact, Lisa will miss out on a huge inheritance if she has sex before she's married. Unfortunately, Lisa never wants to get married, however, she wants a baby. To work around this, she used a process called in vitro fertilization. Hi there, uh, Dr. Winters here to explain how in vitro fertilization works. In vitro fertilization is the process by which both the male and female cells required to make a baby are brought together outside the body. This is especially useful when conventional methods of reproduction have failed, or you're not allowed to have sex. <laughs> Lisa's case is very special because the baby was grown in a lab outside of a human body. It cost her dad $50 million, but what Lisa wants, Lisa gets. 
After a short date with each prospective father, Lisa secretly made her choice. Can you guess who she chose? Sounds like a ridiculous premise for a game, doesn't it? Just wait until you start playing. <laughs> 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 right, so we're finishing off this week with Who's the Daddy 2, the latest offering from Silver Dollar Games. So as like I said in previous videos, Silver Dollar Games, they I think are more aware than anyone else of what the audience for x Blig is like, and uh, knows what to give them. So let's see what uh, what they're giving us this time. See this empty, okay? Got that? No, I think it looks hideous on you. But who am I to say? Oh, yeah. My agent said I could drink while I do this, so what the hell? Please don't get drunk. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Anyway. Welcome to Who's the Daddy 2. Apparently, this is the second in the series, if you can believe it. So yeah, I interviewed a bunch of guys to be a sperm donor, and I went on a short date with all of them before I made my decision. I'm supposed to give you clues about the father so you can, like, guess who he is or something. But I think I'm just gonna sit here and drink my martinis. Please don't do that. Oh yeah, I was told to say, <clears throat> No sex or sexiness of any kind happened in this game. And the baby is backstage with a babysitter and is healthy and fine. Okay, well, that was the stupidest thing I've ever had to say. So why don't you just start the game and let's get going. Or turn it off, I really don't care. All right, keep playing. I'm just gonna sit here and get wasted. Oh, I'm sure we'll be turning it off soon enough. Let's play. To play. Who's the daddy? Let's get started, folks. Lisa's gonna describe the man, and you'll have to guess which man it was. At the end of the game, if you guessed right, we'll tell the father right here that he is the daddy. You only get one guess, so choose wisely. All right, so we get hints as to who the daddy is, and we have to go through these pictures to see who the hints match up to. So let's see what the hints are. Is this your Whoops. final guess? No, no, I want to see what the hints are. He's always sitting down. And now, time for another shot. He's always sitting down, you say? So... It's <coughs> 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 good. Yeah, yep, it's pretty amazing. Okay, so people who are not sitting down, we can mark as not the father. Right, that looks like a winner right there. These are some pretty good stock photos that uh, Silver Dollar came up with for this game. I don't think he's sitting down. We can see his knee, but... Uh, he's sitting. Uh, those guys are sitting. He I think he's sitting. Oh yeah, look at these two. He's technically sitting. He's probably sitting. I think he, he... Yeah, those guys are sitting. He's... I think he's sitting on the ground. It's a lot of fun, right? He's sitting. He is sitting. Uh, okay. What's clue two? The baby's daddy always has a tie on. He ha wears a tie at all times. So let's eliminate anyone not wearing a tie. He is... he's not. Ever play that game, uh, Guess Who? It's pretty much that. Okay, they were wearing ties. The daddy is a busy man. Busy? So he... Uh, let's see. He looks like he's at the office, so probably would count as being busy. Actually, anyone wearing a tie is probably someone who we could say looks like they're at work. So let's see what clue number four is. He wears blue. 
There, I said my line. Can I get out of here? Uh, no, we're not done yet. Well, I mean, she gets every all the all the drinks she can drink, so I don't know why she wants to leave so fast. Okay, always wearing blue. This guy does not wear anything ever except. Does that count? I mean, I, I'd say he's wearing gray. He's got a blue shirt, which might count. So the father never ever wears anything except blue. And what's the last clue? The dad's a workaholic. Is it selfish if I pick DNA that's like gonna make my kid a doctor? Because it'd be really cool if he was a doctor. Hmm, well, I mean, I already said that he was busy. So that's pretty much the same kind of clue, isn't it? All right, I'm going to go with this gentleman right here. He looks like he fits all of the criteria. Is this your final guess? Sure. <laughs> Wonderful. Just, uh, I wouldn't expect anything else from Silver Dollar Games. Like I said, they make their games with Xplig in mind. They know exactly what they're doing. You know, make a game like this, get it out the door, make the next one. Don't don't waste your time trying to make, you know, a real game that's going to actually require time, effort, and money to make. Because you're not getting that back on Xplig. You gotta know your audience, and Silver Dollar does know that. Don't play Who's the Daddy 2. Don't buy Who's the Daddy 2. Come on, why would you buy this? I mean, maybe if you want to see all of the... Uh, all of the all of the girls video clips you know maybe I don't know maybe that's something you'd want to do if you want to spend a dollar on doing that it's your dollar I can't stop you from doing it but you should probably feel bad about it but that's who's the daddy too and that's everything that I'm looking at on Xblig for the week of January 22nd to January 28th so we'll continue on in this format and see how it works Who's the daddy?